one side believes that Errol Spence Jr. is ducking Terrence Crawford. Another side believes that Terrence, Craw Errol, uh, Errol, Terrence Crawford is ducking Errol Spence Jr. Now, both sides can make arguments, and even even both sides can ha have may have some valid points. But the side on the Errol Spence side, their points. Uh, are, are kind of like personal points, kind of like emotional points, some of them. Like, okay, Terrence Crawford. People think Bud is, Errol's ducking Terrence Crawford. The points that those people that, that we make is, okay, he said, why not go the easy route when it came to fighting Sean Porter and knock out Sean Porter. He's a Sean, uh, and Bud said, look, I got a belt now, so what's up? He said it like right there in, in his face. Sean Porter got a belt though too, right? Then, on other interviews, when Errol was asked about Terrence Crawford, he said, shit, I'm, I'll go up and fight Canelo Alvarez. And then on other occasions, he's asked about Terrence Crawford again. He said he's more concerned with going on his ranch and playing with his horses and chickens and stuff. That's just a few. But some of them that are clearly blatant is like, that moving up to 160 to fight Canelo. Why would you want to go up to fight Canelo when you got work to do at 147, right? Y'all remember him saying that. The other ones is a little bit more vague, you know, when it comes to, you know, it leaves room for this, for debate. Oh, he meant easy route, meaning it's easier to make the fight with Sean Porter. And others believe, no, he meant the easy route because Sean Porter is an easier fight. When he threw in the knockout, when he said Sean Porter why not go the easy route fight Sean, and knock Sean Porter out? Why would he put knockout in there if he wasn't talking about how, how easy the fight would be compared to Terrence Crawford, right? Now, a lot of the Spence heads would say that uh, Terrence Crawford is ducking Errol Spence. They'd say, like, look, why... This is one thing that I heard a certain channel say. That he keeps saying this. He says, well, Terrence Crawford, one minute... He's saying Terrence Crawford, uh, y'all think one minute he's saying that uh, Errol is scared. The next minute he's saying, nah, Errol Spence ain't ducking me. He want the fight. Man, sometimes people can't read between the lines, man. Sometimes you got to, like, give people, you got to break stuff down in layman's terms. Or, like, you got to take it back to kindergarten or something with a lot of these cats, man. You know how, like, sometimes when you really want to fight somebody, bro, you know, like, when somebody's scared of you, and, the, you know what I mean? It's like, you just try to psych your own mind out and say, nah, nah, I, I'm not even going to believe for a second that he don't want to fight me. He, he want to fight me, bro. Come on, he want to fight me, bro. He, wanna, he really want to fight me. You know he want to fight me. Or he want to fight the person, or you want to fight somebody so bad that you don't want to tarnish his name to the streets and you just like, yo, Rob said, yeah, he, come on, man. He, he ain't scared of me, man. I, come on, Rob done beat plenty, plenty motherfuckers up. He, why would he be scared of little old me? That's called, you know, I don't even know the right word for that. That's kind of like being sarc... Bub was being sarcastic when he said that. He know that the fight, you know, he wanted to make the fight. He wanted to make the fight, bro. So he don't want to be out there, you know, fucking with his name and all of that, but I admit, Bud was like, you know, he was a little bit off kilter with it, you know what I mean, it was like, alright, one minute he, he was in the ocean, like, where you at, Big Fish, where, where your punk ass at, and then he did, I don't know if that came before, we, he, I think that was after the fact that he said, nah, he not scared of me, he not ducking me, he want to fight. I think he was being sarcastic when he said that. But it, you know, things like that go over people's heads, man. But I ain't gonna lie, as a Bud, as a Bud fan, I wish Bud would have just kept it in chronological order with it, though. Like once he said that he wanted to fight, leave it there. Just don't don't start saying other stuff about, ah, uh, man, where you at, your punk ass? I'm looking for you, Eric. Where you at? Nah, man. You know what I'm saying that he should. That should have been in the past, before he told people that Errol Spence um, wanted to really fight and he not scared and he not ducking. So I kind of get the point. I kind of, I, I can I, I can understand where the Errol sexuals might be, uh, might have a, vo have a valid point with that. 
But when you when you when you think about it, like I just said, if you have you use common sense, you would know why he said it. But then you you gotta you also be like you scratching your head like, all right, bro, like you said this, but then you was in the ocean looking for him like he was scared to fight you. So you know, I give it to y'all how it is, bro. You know what I mean? Y'all know y'all might think I'm biased. I ain't biased, bro. I just be I I like Terrence Crawford. I think he's an excellent fighter. But there were some things in the past that I was just like, huh? But then when you really think about it, when he kept when he's and then they, they used this other thing. Well, he said he the, the fight is behind him now. That was from the frustration. That was from Bob Arum not lining the fight up with him. See, the fight not happening was a combination of things. It was Bob Arum. I don't know if Bob Arum was trying to line it up. I see. I saw something where Bob Arum actually was trying to make the fight. He said that it was Al Heyman's fault. I believe he said that was Al Heyman was the difficult one. But I guess Bud wasn't trying to hear that. And he still ended up trying to sue him for the situation. But it was Al Heyman. And it is the fighters. The fighters got to make the fighters, if they want to scream loud enough and make enough noise, they have a voice, bro. They have a voice. They do. Because they're the ones that got to fight. They're the ones that make the promoters money. Without a boxer... The remote is not making no money. What the what Al Haven gonna put the gloves on himself and get in the ring? No. Alright, so it's like. But all in all, bro, what it's looking like is rules are made to be broken in boxing. That's why if I ever debate certain people or anything like that, I'm just gonna be like, listen. How many times have the rules been bending? The rules has been bent, bro. They'll be given special permits and all kind of stuff, and fighters allowed to get franchise titles and all of this other stuff so the rules are meant to be broken bro absolutely facts but that's just how I feel man it's, it's I can I can see where both sides coming from but the Errol Spence side they they're a lot of their talking points is more emotional than factual a few of them are factual but they don't know how to dig deeper into the surface and figure out why Terrence Crawford was actually saying the things he was saying. You know what I mean? That's just me. But anyway, let me know what you think. There's more points too that I could, you know, I'll be here for a little bit talking about them. But y'all know what it is already, man. It's your boy Rebel Like Boxing. Y'all like, y'all subscribe. I'll catch y'all in the next one.